Jane Jacobs, The Death and Life of Great American Cities, uh, from her text this time. A friend of mine lives on the street uptown where a church, youth, and community center with many night dances and other activities performs the same service for his street that the White Horse Bar does for ours. Orthodox planning is much imbued with, with puritanical and utopian conceptions of how people should spend their free time. And in planning, these moralisms on people's private lives are deeply confused with concepts about the workings of cities. There's not only room in cities for such differences and many more in taste, purpose, and interest of occupation. Cities also have a need for people with all these differences in taste and proclivity. The preferences of utopians and of other compulsive managers of other people's leisure for one kind of legal enterprise over others is worse than irrelevant for cities. It is harmful 